वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लोई टू मार्च यू गाइज वन सेकेंड होप फुली यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल तो बिफोर मूविंग टू द टॉपिक इफ यू हैव एन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ये प्लीज गो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन प्रेस ऑल टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल माई अपकमिंग वीडियो टूडेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड और सब्सक्राइबर यू कैन टेल ही हैज रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक ए वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द एम ई ओ क्लास फोर so he has asked me several question i will try to explain all those question as well as some important aspects regarding the eligibility criteria and syllabus examination topics which all paper you need to give and the most important thing what is the difference between the gme and the tme means there is a little difference regarding the examination between the tme and the gme that i will also explain to you guys so stay tuned first we will start with the eligibility criteria eligibility criteria is that as a fifth engineer or the trainee marine engineer you have to sail on a ship for 7 months and the ship engine capability must be 750 or more kilowatt okay understood i think this part and another thing the 7 months must be the propelling time because for engine cadets only the propelling time is count propelling time means the time ship has enrouted the anchorage time is deducted from your sea time so, so that thing you have to take in your account and as per that you have to proceed so that is the eligibility criteria now i will take a question from my subscriber and try to answer so his name is mayur kumbha you can see the questions in the screen that he has asked me that bhai ek video class 4 ke bare mein karo na jaise ki exam saal mein kitna bar hota hai so okay he has asked that how many time exam is being conducted in the year there is nothing like that in every month exam is to conduct in the mmd and you have to appear for that but there is a clause if you fail for one time then you have to appear on the examination in alternative month suppose this is a month of june you have appeared in month of june and if you are unable to clear the exam in your first attempt you cannot appear for the second attempt in month of july you have to wait for the july and you can apply for the month of august that is the thing so i have i think covered is two questions because the next question was agar fail ho jaye to re exam kab aur kaise de sakte so that is the question i have answered already okay how to give the re exam and what is the duration of that kaha de sakte kaha de sakte means from where you can appear that is from mmd the certified mmd you can appear right now kitne attempts mein clear hona chahiye that is no issues you can attempt until you clear your examination but try to clear as soon as possible okay fees kitni hoti hai okay fees we will discuss so fees see depends the paper definitely 1000 is the paper fees that is fine but before that you have to do some courses there will be four courses pstrb aff marine engineering simulator or engine simulator whatever you can say and the mfa these four courses cost around you 20 to 25000 and duration is one month total okay this is an average fees i am telling and another thing you if you are telling about the cost expenses and expenditure that will depends from which place you are belong okay if you are suppose you are from kolkata so and you have a house in kolkata and you are planning to appear from kolkata mmd so you can stay your home fooding lodging everything is free at your home so the cost effectiveness is definitely more but if you are suppose you are from bihar and in bihar there is no mmd so you have to definitely come to kolkata delhi mumbai kandla or cochin chennai anything you have to go for any mmd and you have to stay over there your fooding lodging cost is more so that is the depends on your place there is no issues another thing uh, pick a question okay so he has asked regarding the which all paper you need to give so you can see in the screen there are six paper for the written the engineering knowledge ekg marine knowledge motor marine electro technology ship construction and stability ship safety and environmental protection and the marine engineering practice so these are the written paper after clearing your written examination you have to appear for the orals so orals also there are four functions you can see in the screen now function 3 is controlling operation of ships 
care for persons on board. Function 4 is marine engineering at operational level. Function 5 is electronics and control engineering at operation level. And function 6 is maintenance and the repair at operation level. So, I think the examination part also clear. Now, he is from GME, right? So, he has mentioned in his comment that he is a GME. So, after GME and after TME, what is the difference? TME means you have done BTEC in the marine engineering and GME means you have done the BTEC in the mechanical engineering. Afterwards, you opted for one year GME course and then join Merchant Navy. So, in that case, there is an exemption for GME candidates. That I will tell you. In function 4, there is a two part, part A and part B. So, for the GME candidate, the part A is exempted because when they were doing the mechanical engineering, they have completed this paper in the semester of examination. So, that part is exempted for the GME candidates. But for TME, the both the papers you have to give means 4A and 4B. So, that is the main difference for the GME and the TME. Now, I think the examination part has been clear. All the queries also cleared. Now, we will discuss I think 2 or 3 minutes regarding the examination tips. Okay. So, examination tips is try to clear as soon as possible. Before that, concentrate on the GD or group discussion. That is very important. First thing, suppose you are from Bihar and you wanted to give exam from Kolkata MMD and you come to Kolkata. Try to stay together with the other three or four people who are also going for MEO class for examination. But please assess that they are very hardworking and studious. Then only choose. Otherwise, there is no meaning to stay with other kind of guys. Okay. Try to be with the good people who are really hardworking and want to clear the exam as soon as possible. Because see, in this profession, examination will clear one day. Maybe in two attempts, three attempts, four attempts, six attempts, it will clear. But if you are unable to clear within two or three attempts, then there will be no meaning actually. Even the after surveyors will give you, okay, take, you cannot pass, you take it like that. The approach will be like that. And try to join the WhatsApp groups and as well as the Facebook group. From there, you can find the questions, answers and you can Google by himself. There you will find also all important materials as well as there is an app called MMD exam. You can, you can install that app and definitely get help from that app. You will get all the sets and all. The most important part, the surveyor sets used to remain the same. Follow the surveyor set, study wholeheartedly. Written is comparatively very easy. You can easily pass the written examination, but it is really difficult to pass the oral examination. That depends on your hard work, your luck, and definitely how you perform on that certain period of time, maybe 40 or 45 minutes. That's the important part. If you are able to clear those examinations, if you perform well, definitely you will clear the examination very easily. That is no issues. So I think you have liked this video and understood all the things. If you like, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon, press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. Signing off for the day. See you in my next video.